Hello everyone and we are back once again we're doing gameplay on the Beyblade Burst app. For this one I'll be showing off the Star Storm uh, set base which is um, one is a Valtrek V3 recut. Well it, it's the anime accurate uh, colors for Valtrek V3. You can just see it right there just to show off again. So we did the first time we showed this off it was uh, the old colors. This one's like the anime accurate colors. So we're going to show off uh, this bay for this video and we're also going to show off, where is it, Satum S3, and I'm going to cover uh, the actual parts and how they labeled it. But uh, yeah, and just a note, um, so I'm not too sure because the, the disc is like six, and like, I guess they just kind of like, they're just going to put like the first letter for the frame, they're not going to say the whole frame's name, I guess when they're going to show the parts. But uh, yeah, let's just get started, we'll do our first battle. And definitely, um, if you didn't see already, check out um, our previous uh, gameplay um, on uh, the Burst app where he did um, Rock Tavor, Wyvron, the original uh, Valkyrie, or Valtrek, I mean. So we're gonna find the tomb. So we, that's Wyvron. Let's find the tomb S3. Yeah, but I'm really loving the app so far. So I'll probably just cut this, and when I get to the tomb S3 with all its parts, we'll go from there. So here we have uh, Satum S3. Very weird, so the actual Bay of Takratami name is called Crest Satan. For this one, they're gonna call it Kinetic Satum. That's all right. Uh, then after you got DR33, 2G, then after you got TD08, Loop. So yeah, <laughs> let's battle it. So to keep the theme right, we're gonna do this in, uh, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, the Star Storm uh, Bay Stadium. And yeah, like I was saying before, I really do like how um, they're gonna have the anime accurate colors because I know sometimes um, the ghost may be some alternate colors, and I'm all right with that. Maybe if it's like a two pack bay, just um, I like it because it's way more anime accurate uh, compared to before. Okay, let's just do a little abilities or switch track ability. Ooh, oh, <laughs> we're just bodings too. Oh, uh, uh, okay, yeah, well, we lost a lot of our uh, health, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go into the next uh, round. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, so let's just do this. I love the switch strike abilities. I think we're just winning because uh, the parts are. We, we use the uh, Val, uh, Valtrek V3 a lot, so probably that's why. Try to focus, trying to get a perfect launch. It's a little bit hard. Well, it's not that hard, but you know. Just love attacking. Okay, let's see if we can get this orb. Almost there, so we'll probably get a burst finish. Let's see if we can. Perfect. Ooh. Ah, no burst finish. All right, so uh, that was pretty fun. Um, again, we did showcase the space before. I just really wanted to show off this skin. So we'll just do uh, one more match. We'll do Valtrek V3 with the anime skin uh, versus uh, Fafnir F3. The Fafnir that spins right. Fear it. So, three, two, one. Let it rip. Alright, come on, Valtrek. You can do this. Eh. I think I was saying before, I'm very curious on how they're going to actually do the Strike God Chip because you can't really customize the God Chip, so probably they'll release some product with um, Star Frame Ultimate Reboot and the God Chip just already on there. Cause, yeah, because there's also um, the Valkyrie with the Infinity Driver, so I don't know what they're going to do for that. Because I remember with uh, Proto Nemesis, when they did it for Metal Fury, 
It didn't have the stadium or anything. They sort of just like made it into its own bay. So I'm not too sure how they're gonna actually pull off um, the, Val the Valkyrie from that set, but who knows. They might probably, they'll probably just skip it, and they'll probably just, like, release a product later on, which is Valkyrie and this Red God chip. I'm definitely excited for, uh, Legend Spryzen. Oh, cause, just because it's such a cool day. Okay, victory. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move to Satum S3. Let me just find it. So, Satum S3. So, um, I did check. There's no alt skins yet. Probably a little bit later on they'll make some. So, because some of the times, um, they'll base this off the random booster. They'll give some special skin to it. Actually, wait. Something else before we actually go, because I, I remember actually seeing this in, uh, Hascon. Can you stop? So when we went to Hascom, we saw one Fafnir, which is a regular anime clear Fafnir. And we also saw a Vreeze skin, which was like a green Fafnir. So um, whenever we do see it, we're probably going to see an update. And you're going to see Fafnir that's going to have like probably a locked green skin. But yeah, just to make that point, so we're going to go back. We're going to go to Satum. Satum's all the way at the end. So we're going to battle. Uh, for this exhibition battle, so we'll do a recent opponent. Let me find if Lunar is there. Yeah, it is, so... So yeah, we get to see how Asitum S3 actually looks like. How the gameplay is for it. Oh wow, I think actually Lunar looks like it's spinning to the left. Oh, I think with Lunar's case, it is going actually left, but it just goes right in the actual gameplay. Just, uh, they probably just have to fix Fafnir and just give it, uh, the animation where it's going left. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't see anything. Is it the bottom one? Maybe? Yeah, there you go. Actually, I don't know. I think that the lair, there's- I think the lair probably just, like, showed off the rollers or something. Kind of weird seeing loop because i kind of get the idea of loop because the point of it was that um if it got to the side it could kind of roll and kind of make a comeback but i don't think it actually does that the, it, with the lair at least the rollers i guess would work a bit so let's see if we can just pull off our avatar attack for this one so it is there there's an orb right there did i get it yes Ooh. all right let's see what it is That's actually cool! It's so like a giant hand just pops up and just grabs it. Okay, that, okay wait, what? Yeah, so, small criticism. I think, because Lunar looked like it was spinning left. I guess in the actual gameplay, it just spins right. That's weird. Just, uh, you know, maybe like a small patch. Just like, make them left even if they just like behave like they're right just to get that immersion no but it, yeah it's pretty cool i i love all the switch strike bays out of all of them so far i'm trying to think uh my favorite one, for at least the avatar attack, my favorite one is uh, Satum, because I just like that giant hand. For the actual bay, I do like Fafnir, just because I like the actual god bay Fafnir. But, uh, you know, there are other bays, like uh, Skyus X3, which should be coming out probably Wave 2 or something like that. Actually, no. I'm not gonna say that. Whenever it comes out, when it does come out, I'm excited to scan it. So we're gonna do another exhibition battle. Uh, recent opponent. We'll go against, uh, we'll go against Veltrek V3. So yeah, whenever Excalius X3 comes out, or whatever they'll call it, whenever, uh, Legend Spryzen comes out, really excited to see, um, what sort of, what abilities they'll have.
three, two, one. Okay, let it rip. So yeah, um, I guess maybe just I type in the comments, uh, what's your favorite bay we've done gameplay on so far? Because I know we have launched a video with, uh, Lunar and just, uh, showing off the bays because we actually scanned the codes for them. Oh, by the way, uh, we do actually, um, depending on the gameplay, like, we'll have, like, the actual QR code for it, or we'll have, like, a link to the source, depending on what it is. But, uh, yeah, don't ask for QR codes because we will supply them. Yeah, we'll show it at the end, yeah. Because, you know what, before we just had, like, a little pinned comment saying, you know, it's from there, but now we're just actually showing the, the actual code for it. So you get the gameplay and you get the code at the end. So you, you can go at the end, then after you can watch the rest of the video. Whatever you want. I really do like the gameplay for the app, though. Okay, so we won that one. So I'm hoping we can end off with a burst finish. That's, that's kind of like just my goal all the time, because burst finish looks the coolest in this app. Oh, okay, well, ain't that a rip. Come on! Ah. Uh, well. Alright, come on, sit Oh. Oh! Well, that hurt a bit. But, I got the shield, so if you want to come at me, feel free. Oh. And then after the shield activates. Ooh! Okay, I might actually... <laughs> That was really that. I don't even know why the camera angle just stopped like that. I like that. I'll probably use that for the screen for the actual thumbnail. But uh, yeah, so that was gameplay of Satum S3 and uh, the different Valtrek V3 uh, skin. No, not you. The Valtrek uh, V3 uh, skin. And before we end it off, a huge. Huge, huge shout out to Mal from Australia for providing us with the codes. He is our mate. He has been very helpful and very kind with helping us for these recent days. And super shout out to him. If he ever does send us a link to his channel or whatever he wants us to promote, we will put it in the description or as a pinned comment. And uh, yeah, so just to end off this video, uh, like the video, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. If you already are subscribed, make sure you click that bell to notify our uploads. And as always, have an awesome Kinetic Satuman day.